Hi, I'm Javis Lewis and in this episode I'm going to show you how to install DAS Studio and how to keep it updated along its content going forward. So this is the first installment in the series I've been promising you for such a long time and before we get going I want to send out a really big shout out to one of my nurse practitioners from Mount Sinai, Miami Beach, Dr. Karen Stevenson. Thank you so much for this t-shirt Karen that I'm going to be wearing throughout this whole series to commemorate the fact that I am now now, cancer free that's right a super survivor and this is kind of background uh, to it a super survivor is somebody who has survived cancer as a result of a new generation of drugs called immunotherapy without which I wouldn't have survived I had this weird form of cancer that wasn't responding to conventional treatment methods like you know chemotherapy and radiation and when we discovered that immunotherapy did do a good job and kept me alive we thought this is awesome it was a struggling tough journey for over two years and you can read more about it in my book broken bowels tales of a super survivor you can get this on amazon as a kindle version as a printed paperback as well as an audio version through audible amazon and itunes narrated by yours truly so if you're interested in that also you can get a free copy if you subscribe to my patreon campaign to support me these videos and everything creative I'm doing in and around the web going forward so you know I'll put a link in the description if you're interested and this t-shirt is courtesy of Dr. Karen Stevenson from Mount Sinai Miami Beach thank you so much and without all that help I wouldn't be here today to bring you this series on DAS Studio so thank you so much plug over thank you for sticking with me and and waiting for the series for such a long time let's get started finally in September 2018 which is when I'm recording this so in order to install and use DAS Studio, which is what this whole series is all about, we don't just install DAS Studio. There's also a number of other components that are needed, such as content, free content, content you've purchased from DAS 3D, perhaps content purchased from other sources. And to be able to install that and to keep it updated, there's a tool that we can download and uh, make use of called the DAS Install Manager, also known as Install Manager, also known as DIM or DIM. It's all the same thing. It's a small tool that you can download from DAS 3D and it'll, it's completely free. And that is kind of your window into the world of 3D through DAS 3D. Oh wow, that's a mouthful. Anyway, so let's head over there and uh, I'm going to go over to DAS3D.com. And on the front page, there's this little icon at the top here, this little blue man. And that's uh, something you, uh, you need to log in with. If you don't have an account, you'll be prompted to create one. It's absolutely free. And they will send you a kind of a daily sales newsletter. And it's one of those things. Once, once you get over that, you can also unsubscribe from that. It's not a problem. But once you're there, you head over to your account and in it, right on the front page it gives you all your latest orders and all your account information and all that and at the bottom right you've got this big green button and that's the install manager if you click that and download that you can install it and uh, that is the first thing you need to do once you've done that and I have already done that you get this little icon either here or in the start menu and uh, it looks exactly the same on Mac as well as Windows and as soon as you launch that for the first time you're being prompted for your account information again and when you do that you hit start so I haven't done anything else. I have only just installed the install manager and nothing else. And you know, that'll set us up to the right path of, you know, what are we actually doing here with DAS 3D? And uh, you know, I'll, I'll explain that in many later videos as well. So one thing I want to clear up right away is uh, that there is a little bit of confusion about install manager in and around the web. And it's a question that I've been asked many times before. So uh, with our computer architecture, we can either have 32 bit and 64 bit versions of certain software. And I am currently using Windows 10 on this system, uh, which is the 64 bit version. I'm going to tell you more about my, my whole rig perhaps later on when it comes to rendering, because that's more important at that point but uh, right now all I can tell you is that it's Windows 10 Pro and that it is the 64-bit version 
but you see up here at install manager it says it's 32-bit version of what's going on there what's all this all about and you know it's screwed up from the beginning and no it's not like that so on the Mac side of things we currently only have 64-bit versions of the operating system and we have had those for quite a while so we don't have 32-bit versions in Mac OS anymore Whereas with Windows, we still have the 32-bit version of Windows as well as the 64-bit version of Windows. And it kind of depends on what your processor supports. Older systems from 10 years ago and longer ago, they are still sometimes 32-bit, whereas newer systems from the last 10 years and newer are kind of 64-bit these days. But it also depends on which version of Windows you're running. So a 32-bit version of Windows will run on 64-bit architecture. It just can't make use of the added benefits you get with 64-bit hardware, which is one thing is that you can address as much memory, RAM memory as you like. So a 32-bit operating system is limited only to addressing four gigabytes of RAM maximum. And uh, that is very limiting when it comes to uh, 3D applications. They're very kind of memory intense, memory hungry. So, uh, you know, 64-bit version is preferred, but you can install, you know, you can use a 32-bit version. It's one of those things. Just to make you aware, Install Manager is just a helper application that can install 64-bit DAS Studio on your computer. So don't get freaked out when you see 32-bit and you think, oh my God, I thought I had a 64-bit version. Don't worry about it. We get, we, we're going to come to that. So once Install Manager is launched, you have a big search box here that you can that allows you to search for things that you have purchased. So this long list here where it says product name, this is a whole list of products that I have bought at DAS 3D over the years, over the last, I don't know, 15, 16 years, I can't even remember. It's that long ago. And um, this is everything that I could install now. This tab here, ready to install, that presents what is downloaded and what could be installed if you wanted to. And this tab here under installed, that shows me what is currently installed on my system. Again, the search field here works on every of these tabs. So if you have content installed and you want to uninstall something, you just type it in here and then find it here and then click uninstall. So I currently have Carrara installed here and Carrara content, and I could uninstall that by clicking this button here. I'm not going to do that because I'd like Carrara to be on there. But other than that, nothing is on here. And 1,370 more items could be downloaded. So let's see. I can type in DAS Studio and uh, that kind of auto updates this list here. So I now see that uh, a lot of stuff have DAS Studio in its name. And uh, one of the first few at the top here, DAS Studio 4.10, Windows 64-bit is the version that I could install. So in order to go ahead and do that, I can tick that. Then a green button comes up at the bottom here that says Start Queue. And as soon as I click that, the system goes ahead and downloads this for me. And then it'll just uh, pop it into the ready to install thing from where I can then go and install that. But I can go some I can do something else. If I had multiple items that I want to install, for example, content and you know more content and even more content, uh, then I can tick this little box on the bottom here, install after download. And the cool thing about that is if I now start the queue, then all items that I have ticked will start downloading and installing automatically. Let's do that with Das Studio now. So I'll just hit that and uh, now this progress bar starts filling up, downloading DAS Studio, and then afterwards it'll automatically install that for me. While it's doing that, let me show you something else. Under ready to install, there's another such exciting tick box, which means delete package once installed. And what that does is basically what the install manager is doing now is installing, downloading an installer package, and then kind of virtually double clicking on it, which will then install the thing. And then after it's installed it, it will delete that package automatically. Here I'm getting the warning still and I will, yes, absolutely. That's all cool. And now it's going ahead and installing my content. And after it's done doing so, it'll delete the package once it's installed. If you want to keep those things around, then make sure you untick this box and then you will find all these in the directory of your install manager under downloads. They'll all still be there. I'm going to have it delete that automatically because it'll save me some space so it doesn't clutter up my hard drive.
as you can see on the Windows system my dependencies are also being installed so in this case the Microsoft Virtual Studio this redistributor whatever it is that is always kind of necessary to do that so that's all happening automatically and all of a sudden I have number one installed which is Das Studio 4.10 so there we go and it's only showing me Das Studio currently because that's what I've typed into the search box up here. If I delete all that then I get to see what else is installed which is Das Studio as well as all my Carrara content. And of course we can uninstall it just the same. I can either tick one of these things and then again start the queue and that'll go ahead and uninstall whatever I've ticked from the list. So it's not that difficult and it's a really cool handy little content management tool that keeps only the content you want to work with on your hard drive because believe me as soon as you start purchasing a lot of content your hard drive and your smart content and your content tab they're going to be so full that you're going to wish you could easily uninstall stuff as well we're going to hopefully get to that at one point in this video or in this series let's say while we're talking about install manager there's one other thing i wanted to bring to your attention das studio is available as several versions so the current version that we're using is Das Studio 4.10 as of September 2018. Another version, Das Studio 4.11, is right around the corner and can currently be downloaded as a beta version. If you're interested in testing beta versions and see which new features are coming, here's how to do that. There's this thing under here, Download Filters. If you click on that, you get a long list under Downloads. Uh, of what content you'd like in this big long list to appear. So I've ticked Das Studio 4.5 and above, as well as Carrara and Bryce, but I can also scroll down, further down, and there's uh, things like the Windows 32-bit and 64-bit versions. So if I wanted to see what 32-bit versions are available, I could tick that and then hit accept, and then the 32-bit versions of whatever is installable will also appear in my list. I don't want to see that because, you know, it's kind of there's a lot. I could also display what Mac versions are there to be downloaded. So I don't want to see that either because I'm on a Windows system. But you may be in a situation where that may be useful. So just to let you know that is there. Also, there's these three things here. Public build, publishing build and private build. Now, most of us will be able to see something in the public build. So if I click that, then I will get to see the beta version of Das Studio that is kind of right around the corner that they have released on a separate release channel. The same goes for the publishing build. So publishing artists or published artists at Das Studio, they get to see an even further advanced version, an even further kind of beta version, which has features that aren't even in the regular public beta yet. And then on top of that, there's the private build, which um, only a very few people have access to that. Those are kind of software developers and uh, uh, people who, who have been given special credentials by DAS. So if, you, if we tick these and I hit accept, then search for DAS Studio, then I get to see some other versions popping up here. So I currently have access to the DAS Studio 4.11 public build and I also have a publishing build showing here and that's because I used to be a PA with DAS once upon a time until they revoked my credentials. It's one of those things. They uh, like doing that. So uh, I could tick this box and that box if I wanted to or just one of them and then DAS Studio would install a second version side by side in addition to the release version. So that means I can launch either version of DAS Studio and have a look if my projects are still working with the beta version and if they're not then I can go ahead to the forum and file bug reports and all that. So it's a handy way to have and people have asked me over the years well hey how do I install beta versions and I thought I'd mention that here while we're talking about DAS install manager. So there we go. That's how you do that. I'm going to untick those boxes again. So I'm not going to display those here. I'm just going to display whatever you see. So which is, you know, kind of cool. Uh, to finish this whole discussion off, Das Studio is now installed on my computer and I can launch it. Look, I've got this uh, little icon on my desktop here already. And I've also got it here under the start menu. And uh, I've also got it uh, sitting on the, on the Mac. It'll be under the applications folder and you can launch it from there. But the thing is, uh, one thing to remember about Das Studio, much like about Posa, is that these tools are content manipulation 
programs or content manipulation tools. They're not content creation tools, unlike Blender or Hexagon or Carrara, with which you can make content. With Das Studio, you can only take content and then manipulate it in a certain way. And uh, the implication of that is without content, you're nowhere. You need some content to make DAS Studio do anything meaningful. And luckily, the friendly people at DAS 3D have given us some starter content that we can install together with this. And those are, those are the Genesis packages. So there's the Genesis. We're going to talk about figures and generations in a little while, but uh, there is uh, basically the Genesis generation one, two, three, and eight. We're also going to talk about why there's such a big gap, why Genesis four to seven never existed. Um, it's one of those things. And those things come as packages that you can also download. So let's have a look at what those are called. So the latest generation at the time of my recording this series is in fact Genesis 8. So we type in Genesis 8 starter and then we get to see two packages here which is the Genesis 8 starter essentials for the female and for the male figure. I'm going to install both of those so I can just tick this box here and once again I hit start the queue make sure that install after download is ticked so now both the female and the male version are being installed at the same time so those are kind of the character starter packages and uh, they also come with a few um, uh, filters and goodies we can we can have a look at all the starter packages by basically while this is installing you know just take Genesis 8 away from there and we can say starter and uh, we get to see a lot of other stuff here so I also get to see the DeForce starter essentials they may come in handy so I might install that as well there's also Sarah starter pack that's something else Genesis starter pack for poser and we have the same for Genesis 3 um, it's, uh, even with um, uh, Genesis 2 two and there's uh, all kinds of other stuff here horse starter content some of the content may not show up for you but uh, we're going to get started with these two things so that we have some content to work with if you want to install something else uh, then you know by all means either pick it from the list or type it in here the window here is versatile enough that you can also look up items by SKU and you can even if you're purchasing two or three items together they usually give you a link do you want to install this content right now and if you click that then all your SKU numbers are being typed in up here so that's kind of you know happening automatically and then those things that you've just purchased will be installed via install manager that is it for now. I hope this was helpful to put you and me on the same page that we've just installed Das Studio as well as the uh, Genesis 8 starter content. In fact, I'm going to, you know, I can't, I can't help myself. I'm going to use the Genesis 3 starter essentials for male and female as well. So I'm going to install those things as well. Oh yeah, and the default starter essentials. So that way you and me are on the same page and we can start exploring Das Studio together. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please share this video with friends family and total strangers and of course see me in the next episode bye for now